What's going on, y'all? This, this is Key, and we're low key. So, welcome back to our channel where we talk about self growth, elevation, and above all else, creation. What have you created today? Yes. You see, we blocked out on some mafioso tip, but we're coming to you with real information. Absolutely. What have you created today? If you ain't creating nothing, it's all good. Keep it pushing. You know, we we here to give you some um self therapy for the motivation. Absolutely. What are we talking about? So today we're gonna talk about knowing your why. Why do you do the things that you do or why are you trying to accomplish your goals? What is it that you're doing? to get you to your goals or what you're not doing because it's easy to talk about what you're not doing or what you are doing than what you're not doing i'm sorry but anyway we're talking about your why all uh -huh. right so uh -huh. one of the important factors of being successful is knowing that because it's easy to get distracted it's easy to um sit sit in your mistakes sit in your setbacks sit in your um your limitations it's easy to do that um when you get sidetracked so we're going to talk about why knowing your why and letting that keep you going and moving into the direction of what you're trying to accomplish okay so we came up I wanted to talk about or give an example of that because I think it's easy. I think a lot of people say, know your why, know your why, know your why. And when you say know your why, it's like, okay, yeah, I know my why, but like sometimes I get started and I don't, I don't follow through. Sometimes I get started and I stop. I've been, um, I've done that before and some things that I've tried to accomplish and it's just that consistency and staying persistent and knowing why you're doing what you're doing and no not even necessarily knowing the how because the why is more important than the how but if you know why you're doing what you're doing you're always keeping that at the forefront it becomes a little bit easier to accomplish and get it done on the days where you feel like you don't want to do it on the days where you feel like you lose you lose your insight on your why because you're focused on the distractions you're focused on the things that it's not even it's not real you focused on what could happen you're focused on i think it's just a bunch of bull crap because it's not real those yeah. things are not real and they're not getting you closer and closer to your vision closer and closer to executing your goals they're actually a distraction from getting you there because once you get there it won't even be a thought anymore right so i was speaking with my husband and we talked about um, an example of what we could use to um explain what we mean okay so you want you want to take it about loss aversion mm -hmm. yeah so most people why is not even a why like um is the fear of losing something you know a lot of people want a whole lot but then that's why more people go and play the lotto to get the million dollars than actually develop the discipline and the persistency, the consistency, the time, the effort to actually become the person who the million dollars belong to. Absolutely. It's the loss of version. But the same person will work a job to keep from losing the mortgage on the house or do this to avoid losing that. Do just enough to pay the water bill to keep the water from being turned off. Absolutely. Most people don't have a why, but if they did have a why, it would be to not lose what I got. Okay. It's never an abundance type of scenario. Mm -hmm. Like I have this, but I'm in abundance. And I'm willing to put my energy towards these things that I see in my head. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about whys, 
it should be less about what you afraid of losing mm -hmm. and more about your future self. Absolutely. You know, whether it's your children, your marriage, is your why wrapped around your children? Like, what do you want their future to look like? You know, is your why wrapped around your marriage? Like, what do you want your marriage to look like in the future? Mm -hmm. Like, you can't really think in right now. Right now is inundated in urgency and pay this, pay that, got to do this, do that. You know what I'm saying? Everything that won't matter in the future. Absolutely. You running in place when you thinking urgently and right now. Mm -hmm. It's only the people who make long-term decisions you know, and go through the short-term sacrifice that's truly able to arrive in their future self and like what they see. Absolutely. You know, so my why is what I want my future self to look like physically, mentally, emotionally, you know, and financially. Mm -hmm. Like what I want my family to look like, what I want my marriage to be like, mm -hmm. my future self. Some people, why, could be totally different. Some people just want the house. Like I said, most people don't talk about that. No, most people don't. talk about, I ain't trying to lose this. Mm -hmm. Or if I don't do this, I'm going to lose this. Mm -hmm. This going to get turned off. It's just focused on keeping your head down and, you know, like Nick Cannon said one time, you just pay bills and die. That's what most people do. Absolutely. For That's real. real. Straight up. So when you talk about your why, and it's not going to be a straight, you know, a straight and narrow path to success, man. Hell nah. That's how <laughs> you want it to be. Mm -hmm. But... The only thing that's keeping you from getting there is you and your growth and who you have to become. So once you hit your teeth on the rocks the first time you get up, you ain't got no teeth in your mouth. Mm -hmm. You got to get up. Why did I fall down? Mm. You only fail if you stop. You know? So even when it seems like you failing, you are not. Right. You got to keep going. You got to keep trying get back up hone your consistency back brush yourself back off approach it again mm. from a different angle deep you know what i'm saying that's right what you think babe? no that's right that's right so yeah you have to uh it's real it's not gonna be straight no. it can be straight Mm -hmm. But your ass ain't straight. So <laughs> you got to go through the... The universe is making you tougher, smarter, wiser. Pulling you towards the people you need to be around. The places you need to be around. And mm -hmm. the mindset. So the journey is the reward. You know, don't focus so much on where you end up. You know, you you want to remain present. Absolutely. You want to lay a perfect brick every day. How are you going to be happy in the future if you're not happy right now? Absolutely. Because you're building your future based on your present right now. Mm-hmm. You know? Sure. So, let's hone it down. You got something else, bro? That's it. I'm low. This is key. I'm real low key. Like, comment. And subscribe. Peace.